guys, what's up? If you're new, um, this is your weekly cooking video. I'm Michelle. And I'm Paige. And this week, we are making muffins. Yum! What kind of muffins? Pumpkin, oat, oh. banana, yum yum muffins. I just had to be basic and get hyped about pumpkin. PSL, guys. Yeah. <laughs> For this recipe, we're using one can of pumpkin. Uh, you know it's everywhere in every store, so we're getting some of that. I'm gonna go blend the oats, because that's gonna be our flour, while Michelle does all of the wet stuff. Yes, which is three cups of oats. All right, so now we have our oat flour, um, which is super easy and simple. If anyone out there is gluten-free, this is always a great thing to do. I use it for making homemade beet burgers or mm. black bean burgers, things like that. Um, mm. Oat flour is very versatile. Yeah. Dump it in there. Dump that in there. Okay, so we've got in here our pumpkin, our oat flour. Um, I mashed up two bananas. Good egg replacer. Um, if you ever look at a holiday recipe that calls for eggs, you can always use smashed up bananas or applesauce. Mm -hmm. Both good. Mm -hmm. Amalgamators. Okay, and then here I have um, a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. And then here I have one tablespoon of pumpkin allspice. Mm. Um, and if that's not enough for you, because I think we want to add a little bit more. Um, I love ginger, mm. especially with pumpkin, especially this time of year. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dump in a little bit more ginger. Yum. Not measured, just to taste. Ginger and then is great for pain. And good for stomach, nausea, everything. All right, so now we have um, one teaspoon of vanilla. So guys, this is not on the meal plan. So you no. know, that's why we are letting you know all the ingredients. Yes. We'll list them in the description down below. So if yep. you're not writing things down, just look in the description. That's okay. Remember, a whole month of October, we are giving you guys stuff that's off of the meal plan that still follows the guidelines. Um, notice in the meal plan, there isn't any flour. So that's why we chose to use oat flour. Yeah. Hmm? And then last but not least, we have one cup of plant milk. <laughs> that always sounds funny to me. Plant milk? Plant milk. <laughs> Cat, this is cashew milk. <laughs> mm, this smells so good. It, yeah, it looks good too. It smells like fall in a bowl. Fall, I fell in this bowl. <laughs> so you can put like some sort of crunch in these if you want. Ooh. Oh, like almonds, walnuts. Um, you can do non-dairy, like chocolate chips for like a little bit of soap. I wish we had that. Hey. Why do we have that? All right, batter done. So I've just lined our little muffin tin with these um, recycled liners. I got them at Sprouts. Where did you find them? They're in the same aisle with all the utensils and also dog uh. treats. Like the That's dog food, I... dog treats are also in that aisle. I was trying to look for them in the uh, baking aisle, but they weren't there. No, <laughs> they were not with the baking kids. So we'll just do a couple spoonfuls in here. So as the holidays are approaching, these are gonna be something good to kind of keep around to satisfy that like sweet tooth that you're probably gonna have around Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And New Year's. And New Year's. <laughs> so we have four rough months ahead of us. That's really going to challenge our entire mindset and make sure we stay on track with our goals. So this will be a good way. And remember, we did give you some hints. You can always add like chocolate chips a little bit on top, but still like this is so protein packed. Um, it's got oats. Like it's just really good and healthy and beneficial to your body rather than hurting it like candy. <laughs> <laughs> And like we talked about last week, if you are gonna indulge in mm -hmm. some candy, don't go overboard, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. make sure that you're also eating some natural sweets with that too. Mm -hmm. That said, like if you're really craving some candy, keep more fruit around mm -hmm. because totally. honestly, it's such a craving killer. Mm -hmm. um, this morning I was just like craving something really sweet. And so I cut up a mango and like craving's gone. Yeah, it's good. Um, so good. And then I don't hate myself afterwards. <laughs> Seriously. It's like you're avoiding that negative self-talk or like putting yourself down just by switching to something that's healthy for you and you already feel so much better about yourself after you eat that. So 
I'm Good sure. job, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, also, you guys, you can add um, apple cider vinegar if you have something you need to rise a lot. <laughs> Just add apple cider vinegar to your batter if there's baking soda in it because just like, you know, the volcanoes in elementary school, those two will combine and make it frothy and, and make it rise really nicely. That's me last weekend. I made a cake for Jake's birthday and it, the whole middle just went down. I was like, cool. That's <laughs> fine. I didn't, I didn't need that. Anyway. I just filled it with frosting that I made. So it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided we wanted to use some chocolate. Mm -hmm. By we, I mean me. Um, <laughs> So I have some Nutiva, which is like Nutella, but it's non-dairy. Um, it says 12 grams of sugar per two tablespoons. So I'm gonna do half a teaspoon in each of these. So not um, even close. Not even close, grams. yeah. Um, and then we're gonna do a little dollop in the middle and cover it up so that they're like chocolate filled. It would, this is like something that I would make to pass out at my house <laughs> if somebody came trick-or-treating at my house. Yeah, I, I'm wondering like what trick-or-treating candy I should be buying. It's like, I don't even know. I really don't, especially because like a lot of parents are becoming more, a little more health conscious. I know it's Halloween, so it's like a little treat, but I actually have been to a lot of houses when I used to trick-or-treat in my old neighborhood that would give out apples and grapes. Now that I have filled all of these with chocolate, Definitely didn't like the spoon, don't worry. I am gonna just cover up the chocolate area so that the chocolate is perfectly encased inside. We have all of our muffins ready to go in the oven. Yum. Um, it has been preheating at 375, mm -hmm. so we'll pop these in for how long? 15 to 18 minutes, depending on how crispy you like your muffin top. Cool. Let's, Let's make her a smoothie. smoothie. <laughs> Cute. Let's do it. All right, guys. So here is your weekly smoothie. We are keeping the theme with fall. Um, we are going to do a apple almond butter smoothie. Um, I have never had this before, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, Me and too. It, it is it is very fall. Cinnamon, apples, oats. So here we go. We Yum. have... Um, I doubled it because the recipe that I came up with only was served one, so I doubled everything. Okay. So this is one whole apple, uh, a medium apple, I yeah. believe is what it said. <laughs> Peeled okay. and sliced. Mm -hmm. Little bit of lemon juice on top, just a little bit, I won't be able to tell, in there, just to make it not brown. Um, this is two tablespoons of oats. Mm -hmm. um, a half of a teaspoon, so not very much, of cinnamon. And you can always add more or other totally. spices depending on what you like. Totally. One um, banana frozen, chopped or sliced or whatever you want to do with your banana. Um, mine are whole in my fridge and I just put them in half. So it does not matter how you put the banana in. Um, and then we have two tablespoons of almond butter, unsweetened and unsalted. Ooh, that's a good idea. We're going to scrape it out. Scrape. We got to get all of it because this is some expensive goodness <laughs> yeah we, we are not wasting any of no. that apple <laughs> awesome and then we have two cups of uh this week i chose to use cashew milk for all everything that we're making so this is unsweetened cashew milk is it flavored no nope. it's just regular cashew milk yeah it's gonna be creamy creamy you guys know what time it is blend time, time. <laughs> it's like our favorite part It smells so good. Wait, you didn't get oh my yum. Oh, it smells like it smells like like oatmeal cookies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yum. Very oh, oat milk texture ish. So Cheers to fall and this rainy day. Yum. Mmm. That's so good. I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. it tastes like a apple oh, oatmeal cookie like it tastes like oatmeal yeah. cookie with chunks of apples in it it tastes there's like there's no chunks you like, know those really crispy um oatmeal cookies that have like mm. the white frosting on top 
That's what this tastes like. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is delicious. So, definitely save this. Mm -hmm. um, again, we'll put the recipe below because it's not in the meal plan, but we might need to add it. Because <laughs> yeah. it's so good. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> we put them in probably for 25 minutes. Okay. What, are you just getting the chocolate part? No, I got this like yours. Mm. <laughs> I didn't want the whole thing. <laughs> Just the chocolate. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Eek. It reminds me of banana bread, but pumpkin. Mm hmm. With chocolate. With chocolate. I mean, I put that much, so it's like a good hint of sweet. And then. It tastes healthy, that's for sure. Mm hmm. But it also tastes really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These will be good too. I was just telling Michelle to meal prep for breakfast. Um, maybe not with the chocolate or with the chocolate, whatever. Again, we didn't use that much. And again, they still taste really healthy. Mm -hmm. um, but just know like when you're eating stuff like this, this you're eating for fuel. You're eating to get through your day. You're eating to get through those cravings. This is something to kind of block out the, I need sh sugar kind of feel. Um, yeah. So yeah, they're they're really good, and I hope you guys enjoy them. And please let us know if you guys add any um, nuts, like walnuts, almonds, anything like that, mm. um, any chocolate chips on top, whatever. Like, just let us know what you tried at home. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Happy fall. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>